Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Welcome in. Venus in Pisces brings us into February, which features sweet supportive transits for taking action on new inspired ideas and important conversations, as well as for stabilizing your connection with your mind, your heart, body, and spirit. February features the tastes of Aquarius and Pisces seasons and a focus on innovative and creative ideas and flow. It's about experiencing and being exposed to innovative and spiritual insights. Lots of electronic and virtual community group and business communication and trying to balance focus on your individual goals and practical life and balance the nervous system amidst it all and find creative flow. So the spiritual theme is attunement, mindful attunement to what needs to get done and what spiritual lifestyle tools support you getting things done. It's also about mindful discernment about what things and people you need to tune out so you stay balanced and regulated versus overstimulated. This is especially important because this month is the last month that Saturn is in Aquarius and the last month that Pluto is in Capricorn while all planets are also direct. So you can actually look at the time frame of this month through to the true new year of March 20th where we have the new moon and spring equinox as a time of rapture and renewal, right? In advance of true multidimensional rebirth for the world in your personal lives and even your energy levels. The world dynamics are being reconfigured through us and we are reconfiguring life and the world as well with Venus and therefore our values, monetary goals, creative desires, and relationship connections sort of leading the way. And the sun is essentially moving between Pluto and Saturn this month, where it conjuncts with Saturn on the 16th, two days before it enters Pisces, illuminating things for us to consider and analyze on a thinking and feeling level, right? And then Mercury essentially follows in the sun's path, supporting your deep discovery and analysis of what is illuminated for you to make informed decisions and take practical actions to settle matters, to tie up loose ends and continue shaping new beginnings based on your insights. Right. Given that we also still have Mars and Gemini this month, which is all about practical problem solving, conflict resolution, and daily routine activity that is all towards future goals. Venus and Mercury's travels and transit connections this month are also all about giving us some initial feedback on the potential payoff of certain initiatives projects, affairs, and relationship dynamics this month to inform future evidence. I mean future efforts. <laughs> there is a sort of trial and error and feedback analysis of evidence, right? <laughs> There's this sort of uh, trial and error and feedback analysis quality to everything right now that's courtesy of Jupiter and Aries and Venus sort of leading the pack through the signs right now, right? And that's related to taking risks to realize creative and visionary goals while the more pragmatic planets are sort of following up in their path, right? Through Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, sort of intercepting the results and supporting the analysis and any follow-up actions, right? And 211 is the psychic angel number message that I've been getting um, related to the astrology for this month. And it's related to a few things, right? It's a psychic message that truly emphasizes the major themes of attunement and internal and external balance, 
balanced internal and external focus and rapture in preparation for the new year, right? Two is a number that is all about balance and harmony, while 11 is, you know, this master number that is all about initiations and new beginnings, right? And these sort of like divine portals of manifestation and newness, right? And so, and also getting right new ideas, right? And so, um, this 211 psychic message is also about the importance of balance and about the Aquarius and Leo polarity of focus on the self versus others, right? And focus on individuality versus group and collective participation, right? And as Saturn prepares to enter Pisces and Pluto prepares to enter Aquarius, this is truly a moment of also centering in your personal power, right? Um, and so understanding the importance of pouring into self to pour into others is really important. And also how this requires boundaries, right? Movement through Pisces a lot of the time is also about this sort of underlying um, sort of spiritual lesson around boundaries, right? So I'm getting that this 211 message could also indicate that the day of February 11th, 211, and the Mercury in Aquarius transit that kicks off that day, and that lasts between February 11th and March 2nd, could really be important and positive for the collective, right? Positive for continuing to take initiative and action in personal business and financial affairs and to really conduct important communications, meetings, sign paperwork, receive incredible and faded helpful spiritual and practical insights, feedback, and have faded meetings, right? So for example, in last month's collective astrology message, I mentioned that the new moon in Aquarius would be this sort of cosmic kickoff point, right, for these sort of activities and events. And it was around that time that all of the uh, planets started to move forward after having a lot of them retrograde, right? So the 211 psychic message is absolutely referring to this time between 211, February 11th through March 2nd, when Mercury is in Aquarius, right, as significant for all of this practical inspired action. And given that the astrology of March 2nd um, features conjunctions between Venus and Jupiter in Aries and Mercury conjunct Saturn in the final degree of Aquarius right before Mercury and Saturn both move into Pisces, I would say it is absolutely significant for solidifying important foundations in your affairs, right, that are critical to financial and business goals, right? And this will all begin to accelerate and grow March through May, right, and, and beyond, right? And with last month's astrology, I mentioned that the new moon and the forward movement of all the planets would really facilitate like news of new promotions, successions, changes in leadership in all sorts of institutions like education, the medical field and institutions, government institutions, foreign affairs, big businesses, little businesses, right? And even things like surprise strategic oustings and partnerships and mentorships being initiated a part of like these leadership decisions with sort of like success, success bleh, successions and long-term legacies in mind, right? And this has been happening and will continue to happen. If you look at the news, right, you will see all of these sort of like news notices related to um, big corporations and big businesses like having all of these changes in leadership, right? And that's happening for all sorts of businesses, right? But that is just one confirmation related to that sort of prediction um, being manifest in the collective. 
Um, one of the things that uh, that new moon and the forward moving planets kicked off also was things like new text codes and laws, you know, um, that it's time to file tax documents and that filing tax documents um, after entering into new tax brackets would be um, a big thing for a lot of people. Um, filing government forms for new businesses or even with foreign affairs related to things like renewing visas and just generally taking care of responsibilities would be something that would be on the document for, for many in the collective, right? And I got the message too that in general, um, projects started now and any business changes that you're making, any new things that you're trying out and getting early feedback on, it's like, it will prove successful, right? And most likely put you in a new tax bracket with dedication. Another message is that, you know, Jupiter in Aries is essentially aspecting um, the houses ruled by Leo and Sagittarius generally. And while we have a full moon in Leo and a new moon in Pisces this month, there is so much about transforming uh, relationship dynamics in your lives toward more in independence and like healthier interdependence and also transforming spiritual beliefs and beliefs about your self-worth and what you can achieve, right? And just coming into more confidence and authority in your affairs, especially with asserting boundaries. And this is especially important for empaths and light workers, right? And this is really a time of coming home to yourself and also realizing the risks, the limits, and the potentials of understanding your personal truths and reaching certain spiritual and professional goals through external relationships, right? And that's going to be a part of all of this trial and error and sort of newness, reconfiguration, and balance that's going on for people. This is definitely a time of looking back on journeys of healing from abuse and addictions and vices and truly seeing how far you've come and, and, and have yet to go. For many, this is a time of perhaps actually struggling with breaking addictions and transmuting relationships to vices, substances, and sugar. I got a psychic message about, you know, a sweet tooth, right? So... Um, there's a message there to think about um, addiction transference and abuse survival coping mechanisms that may need to be transformed for growth and evolution, okay? And um, these were just like all of the downloads and things that I've been getting over this time. I have to let the messages just state and, <laughs> and come through. Um, but definitely with this uh, season of attunement, mindful attunement, finding balance amidst rapture. And while we have all of this really lovely Piscean energy, right, um, I definitely got the message that really being consistent with the gratitude practice could be really, really helpful, right? And so definitely subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, join in our daily grace meditative practice, right? I will be posting shorts every day. Um, and these are just these daily grace short meditations. You can put your headphones and listen to the music for heart activation as well. And um, use that as a part of your daily gratitude practice, right? So because we have a full moon illuminating the Leo and Aquarius fixed sign polarities, there's also a lesson about understanding the gift of failures, right? And the sort of blessings of starting over with clean slates. And where these transits through Pisces are about how the divine can really absolve the past, right? And redeem our lives if we surrender. Right, our sort of 
fixed notions of how things are supposed to look and play out, right? And understand how ascension and transcendence often looks like failure, destruction, and things falling apart. When it's really a gateway and the divine intelligent way that all of the pieces to goals and your sacred path are actually falling together, right? And so I got the message that you can really think of this period, especially between now and uh, the new year on March 20th, you can think of this period as really being tasked with doing the work of putting the pieces together to masterpieces that are yet to be revealed. Okay, so find the timestamp below to check out your personal horoscope message for the month according to your sun rising sign especially your rising sign and your moon sign and be sure to check out all of the 2023 year ahead readings on the channel and stay tuned for upcoming content that dives a bit more into any spiritual messages for the full and new moons this month. Hello, dear Aquarius. So dear Aquarius, your title for your horoscope or the major themes is revelations and the boiling point and standing your ground and protecting your peace. And difficulties and dealings related to your home loved ones, authority figures, contracts and power dynamics in your career are still changing in a deep and necessary way. The sun plus Saturn in the last degrees of your first house put a spotlight on your identity, physical body, appearance, ego battles and court cases with authority figures that affect your professional reputation, and are all about wrapping up a busy work season of reaching huge milestones in your career and identity development and building a reputation as a serious professional. Saturn is all about providing spiritual tests to evolve you into your most mature self. While Pluto has been in your 12th house of secret enemies, mental health, spiritual journeys, visionary goals, and personal transformation. And Mercury's travel through the 12th and the first house this month really emphasizes how the theme of attunement and balance amidst the rapture really applies to you seeking spiritual self-care and reaching powerful closure and emotional healing from a long journey of withstanding an onslaught of career responsibilities and proceedings with the public, power figures, institutions like court, police, and even education institutions, and revelations of gossip and betrayal. Mercury, Pluto, and Saturn and the full moon indicate that it won't be over just yet and more things could be revealed and reach a boiling point this month. While Neptune, the Pisces new moon, and Venus's travel through, through Pisces encourage investing time and attention to securing and growing your finances, dissolving certain professional and financial relationships, investing in your wellness and spiritual self-care, and more trustworthy professional advisors and people who you trust, right? And just focusing on daily routines and travel away from gossip, secret enemies, and things that threaten your mental and physical health. Around the sort of first week here of, of February, on the third through the fourth, we have the sun and Aquarius in your first house, squaring Uranus and Taurus in your fourth house of home, right? And so you may be faced with resolving some practical affairs, making changes and decisions related to your home and close relationships as mentioned. And in general, Venus has already been in conversation with Saturn and is urging you to take action and continue troubleshooting and standing your ground in any financial and contractual and legal issues related to your personal assets and creative projects in the interest of long-term goals, right? And then on the 5th, we have that full moon in Leo, right? And 
it is, you know, illuminating both your first and your seventh house, right? And so partnerships and legal issues might reach a boiling point and closure around that time. And really between uh, the full moon this month and next month, right? And with Uranus in the mix, because this full moon is squaring Uranus, it indicates that things could become like really unnerving, right, for you. And that may be a getaway to a new climate, home environment, time with children, playfulness, pets, and really just focusing again on your daily routines and maybe even trying to formulate new daily routines, right? Could be more nurturing and really help you to renew and to regulate. Definitely take a look at the um, ancestor advice and the Jupiter and Aries 2023 year ahead readings that I did for you. And in general, Aquarius, I definitely wish you much peace, inner peace, and outer peace this month and beyond. Take a look at any of the other readings related to your sun, moon, and rising sign. Hello, dear Pisces. So this month, it's it's all about you, okay? It's all about you. It's all about your big reveals and big rewards, right? And dear Pisces, you've been growing and protecting your abundance, your family, your privacy, and the reveal of new projects, and really tending to your everyday spirituality and a new relationship with your body and adapting to changes in your daily routines in anticipation of, you know, launches of projects, surprise partnerships and promotions. And Mercury, Pluto and Saturn have been supporting and will continue to support your ability to transform, stabilize and solidify practical details about these affairs. And this is all courtesy of Pluto on the cusp of your 10th house of career and your 11th house of media, marketing, business partnerships, right? All of these things that increase your net worth, your professional reputation, but also your responsibilities in the eyes of the public, right? While Saturn is on the cusp of your 12th and first houses, really catalyzing this spiritual identity and physical transformation, right? And sort of the sort of manifestation of visionary goals, right? That push you into a new era of growth and empowerment. Venus, the sun, and a new moon in your sign this month and a full moon in your sixth house of creative career and work-life balance really indicate that this month is about big reveals and big rewards that launch this new era of personal, physical health, professional, and creative growth for you. It's definitely about you entering into an era that will continue to bring you massive wealth potential and expansion of your impact. And this is courtesy of Jupiter being in your house of finances and personal assets. And, you know, there's also the theme of attunement and balance amidst the rapture really applying to how this month gives you a taste of how this new era will actually test your discernment, decision-making, your physical endurance, and your ability to set boundaries and balance and stabilize your private home life and personal self-confidence and mental health amidst a time where you are tasked with more public-facing leadership, professional responsibilities, and opportunities. And these things could peak in the following ways, right? So for instance, in the third through the fourth, we have the sun, Aquari- the sun in Aquarius in your 12th house, and it squares Uranus and Taurus in your third house, right? Of daily routines, travel, communications, right? And so you may be faced with resolving some practical affairs, making changes and decisions related to balancing your need for rest and privacy with increasing demands in your daily routines. And then 
the fourth through the fifth, we have Venus in Pisces, right? Um, in your first house, squaring Mars and Gemini in your fourth. And so Venus has already been in conversation with Saturn in your 12th house, urging you to take action and really troubleshoot and stabilize any conflicts between your family and home life in interests of long-term goals, right? And so this square could be a test in this area, um, particularly related to any men or masculines or co-parents in your life. And around the 10th, we have Mercury conjunct Pluto and Capricorn. And this is on your 10th and 11th house cusp of, you know, media, internet, public appearances, and professional communications, right? And it indicates that, um, you know, big decisions, reveals, and events that solidify the launch of this tr transformative era in your professional life um, may be happening, right? And even getting feedback on something you're working on or release that boosts your self-confidence. And then through the end of the month, right, through the lead up to the Pisces new moon and Venus entering your sign and then onward through to your second house, you really could see monetary rewards and really just get to relish in and process the feedback and really positive results from something what it means and what it will take for you to continue building off of this momentum and these blessings, right? And trying to, again, just live a balanced life, manifesting all of your dreams. Okay, Pisces. So definitely take a look at your 2023 Jupiter and Aries and Ancestor Advice readings to get more insight on the year ahead. And also subscribe here to get notifications about our daily grace meditations. And definitely take a look at the rest of the readings related to your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thank you so much for watching, Pisces. Take care. Hello, dear Aries. So Aries, the theme for your reading is paying attention to who and what pays you. Okay, that is your horoscope theme for the month of February. And dear Aries, your relationship to how much you prioritize others and share of yourself with others is changing in a deep and necessary way. Venus and Pisces and its travel through Aries emphasizes a desire to invest time and attention to your internal world, your personal spirituality and creativity, and fitness and financial goals. The theme of attunement and balance amidst the rapture really applies to you with the transits this month as you seek to balance this focus on spiritual self-care and reaching powerful closure and emotional healing and with continued focus on your solo projects, consistency, and personal empowerment. Mercury, Pluto, and Saturn are asking you to continue your efforts to transform, stabilize, and make practical plans related to your wellness, career, and financial goals, and how you plan to infuse art and wisdom from your healing journey into your independent creative careers. And also to continue thinking about people, networks, and marketing strategies that can help your goals. The sun and Mars in Gemini is also informing this analysis of your networks, right? And mindfulness in your communications. And also um, focus on how you want to best represent yourself to others, right? And have your work and your affiliations and your appearance just really represent you. Right. And so these things could peak in the following ways for you this month. Um, in the first week of February here, the third through the fourth, we have the sun in Aquarius in your 11th house of like networks, innovation, ideas, and more squaring Uranus and Taurus, which is their second house of finances and food. <laughs> you may be faced with resolving some practical affairs, and making changes and decisions related to things like bank transactions, your budget, 
and business contracts between you and others. In the fourth through the fifth, Venus and Pisces in your twelfth house squares Mars and Gemini in your third house, right? And so Venus has already been in conversation with Saturn and is really urging you to take action and troubleshoot any financial budget issues and to make your money work for you by investing your money wisely in interests of long-term goals. And so this is also about you investing your time wisely in your daily routines as well. And the full moon in Leo is in your fifth house, right, of romance and creativity. And it's making a square with Uranus. Um, and Uranus is in your second house of finances, right? And so you may find some sort of resolve with your feelings about uh, a creative idea, right? And and maybe you complete something, right, um, related to some sort of personal goal that you set for yourself, right, related to some sort of like creative project and idea. And you end up feeling really accomplished, right, related to you keeping your word with yourself, right? And maybe you start to see some results related to this. Mercury conjuncts Pluto and Capricorn, right, while Capricorn is on the cusp of your 10th and 11th house, right, before beginning, you know, its journey through Aquarius, right? And so you could be discovering and solidifying something really important and transformative for your professional life, right? This could be communication with some sort of powerful person, receiving news related to some administrative dealing that is supportive for your goals, and even getting feedback, you know, on something you're working on or that you release, right? That boosts your self-confidence, right? And through the rest of the month, we have the lead up to the Pisces new moon, Venus entering your sign, right? Around the end of the month. And it's really going to be about, you know, the second half of the month being a time for rest and renewing your energy with spiritual self-care, music, nice spiritual baths, and pampering. Some of you may be making some sort of change in your appearance, right? That boosts your self-esteem and self-love and ultimately your energy, right? For continuing to finish the month out balanced, strong, and diligent in your dealings, feeling accomplished, and maintaining a sort of steady, growing enterprise that is a stepping stone to larger goals and just this strong reclamation of your fierce power. Okay. So Aries, I hope that February is a really beautiful month for you that you find balance. Definitely take a look at your Jupiter and Aries and also your ancestor advice um, videos that give some advice for the year ahead, 2023. Take a look at the other videos here related to your moon, your rising, your sun sign, and follow and subscribe to keep up with our daily grace meditations. All right. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. Take good care. Hello there, Taurus. So Taurus, the theme for February 2023 is that your finances, career networks, and transnational reach are expanding. Okay. Your experimentation with your style and self-expression and transformation of your career opportunities continues. And Venus's travel through Pisces in your 11th house and Aries in your 12th house really emphasizes this desire to continue secretly expanding your networks, market reach, and connections with industry moguls in ways that support your visionary goals related to media, writing, publishing, teaching and higher learning, art, entertainment, wellness, and growing your finances. And it indicates that you will see rewards from these efforts in major ways this month. You're trusting your instincts and taking risks, and Mercury, Pluto, and Saturn 
your ninth through 10th houses are asking you to continue your efforts to transform, stabilize, and make practical plans related to networking with these powerful people outside your usual circles and with financial advisors and teachers, universities, and schools of thought that help with your professional development, financial literacy, and money management, and with manufacturers to help with any product and project development in the interest of your public reputation and success overall. You're continuing to think of how to creatively utilize media, marketing, travel appearances, and partnerships to help your goals and build a reputation as a serious professional as you try new things. And you're getting incredible feedback and results and surprise opportunities. And it's about maintaining and building momentum towards this big ultimate goal or vision that you can picture and that you're keeping to yourself. (laughs) But with the sun and in your 10th through 11th house and Mars and Gemini in your second house, many may see you as opportunistic and competitive because you're really goal focused and just betting on yourself right now. Just be sure to invest time and attention to your internal world and personal spirituality to aid your creativity and to devote time to rest and recenter, right? Which might include finalizing some sort of decision or a project related to your home and uh, your family life, right? So don't lose sight of your values, your discernment, and a higher purpose outside of money while you continue to demand your worth and not settle or dim your light in achieving your goals. These things could peak for you in the following ways this month. So for instance, we begin the month um, around the third and the fourth with the sun and Aquarius in your 10th house of career squaring Uranus in your, in your sign, right? Your first house of identity and your physical body and your appearance. So you may be taking a new hair or fashion risk, right? And seeing how these things are received in your public and professional environments, right? You may be troubleshooting issues related to branding and or brand merchandise. You may also even experience a bit of unexpected burnout and need to rest and consider how your career responsibilities may be affecting your diet. Around the fourth and the fifth, we have Venus in Pisces and it's in your 11th house. And This is making a square to Mars and Gemini in your second house of finances, right? And Venus has already been in conversation with Saturn and is urging you to take action and to troubleshoot any financial or budget issues, right? To really make your money work for you by investing your money wisely in the interests of long-term goals. And then on the 10th, we have Mercury conjunct Pluto and Capricorn, and this is on that 9th and 10th house cusp, right? And then The mid-month through the end of the month, there's just this lead up to the Pisces new moon and Venus entering your 12th house and a few other transits, right? That all are indicating that you may be discovering and solidifying something really important and transformative for your professional life, right? That includes international travel opportunities, higher learning, expansion, right? This could be communication with some sort of powerful person or receiving news related to some administrative dealing or business deal around this time that is supportive for your goals, right? And even, again, feedback on something that you released that boosts your self-confidence and gives you an understanding of your potential reach, okay? Your potential reach in new schools of thought, in new markets, and new circles, Okay, Taurus, so that is your horoscope for the month. Definitely take a look at all of the other videos, right, related to your sun, your moon, or your rising sign. Also, take a look at the other videos posted here on the channel that give you some insight into 2023, the year ahead. There's a Jupiter and Aries reading and an ancestor spiritual advice reading.
right? These may be helpful for you. Definitely subscribe. Thank you for watching and come back here every day to join in our daily grace meditations. Take care. Hello there, Geminis. So for February 2023, your horoscope theme, this message for you is about the magician in the matrix, right? And this message about monopoly means nothing to a chess master, okay? So Mars is still in your mix, but it's moving forward now. And this month, the theme of attunement and balance amidst the rapture really applies to you building your energy and vitality back up, right? And refocusing on your work and career after maybe an exasperating month or two, transmuting heavy emotions from resolving situations that tested your cool, that triggered old traumas, and that stood to interfere with your goals, right? Or that stood to make or break your ability to maintain and or earn more assets, right? People have been playing Monopoly with your livelihood and your feelings, and you've been able to see demons very clearly for who and what they are, and have had to resolve different matters, right, and communicate your boundaries very strategically by restraining charged emotions and fighting with facts and Tapping into your inner CEO and your higher mind and wisdom teachings and your higher visionary goals, right? That are all on the line. And this has meant that you then, right, have had to deal with these emotions behind closed doors, right? But you've been on a long journey where the pragmatic planets like Saturn, Mercury, and Pluto have been asking you to transform, stabilize, and make practical considerations and plans related to taxes, business documents, financial and legal and contractual literacies, and to truly understand how your creative, intellectual, in spiritual knowledge and faculties and visionary ideas are critical assets that you must protect and ensure and keep to yourself and reveal strategically. You're asked to reconsider how much you share of yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually because you're not just anybody, right? And the Aaliyah song came through, right? It was like, you got to watch your back because you're not just anybody, right? And because of your expanded and expanding knowledge and faculties, the universe is testing your ability to master the art of chess when you're a magician in the matrix, right? Using your high self-awareness, your discernment and facts, right? Understanding how to be in it and not of it, right? how to play your hand but not reveal your hand, and to truly trust that matrix monopoly is nothing to a magician and a chess master, okay? The sun and Saturn and Neptune in Aquarius and, and also Pisces, right? This movement between your ninth and your 10th houses, and also Venus and Jupiter moving through Pisces and Aries are spotlighting long-term career visions, right? How they include higher learning, spirituality, international travel, and overall these questions, right, are, are up for you about legacy, right? And the universe is supporting efforts to majorly increase your wealth and create a powerful legacy through the success of publishing media, tech, and creative projects, right? And from you expanding your networks, expanding your transnational markets and reach, and connection to key supportive moguls and mentors. People know you're multi-talented and that you know a lot, but because they don't know all that you know, or even know how much you truly know, <laughs> or the various connections that you have the potential to tap, right? Mars in your sign is about teaching you how with restraint and strategic action, it can keep you 100 steps ahead, right? But discernment is important, right? So there's this question, 
How will you play your hand? How do you give your power away? How can you call it back and increase it, right? And be the chess master and the magician, right? This is the question of rapture and revelation for you as the new year nears, okay? And these things could peak in the following ways this month, right? You could be led to shocking revelations, right? Insights and also synchronistic resources that help you with any long-term plans and ideas. In the fourth through the fifth, right? Venus and Pisces in your 10th house of career makes a square to Mars and Gemini in your sign, right? And so you're asked to truly prioritize rest, exercise, and physical activity as a key way to maintain your mental, emotional, and spiritual fitness for handling the demands of your responsibilities. And then on the 10th, Mercury conjuncts Pluto and Capricorn. So this may be in your 8th or ninth house, depending on your chart, right? And you may be discovering, communicating, and solidifying some things pertaining to finances, business, taxes, and future travel. You may be consulting with advisors and professionals in these areas, right? And then through the rest of the month, right, the second half of the month, we have the Pisces new moon. We have Venus entering your 12th house and a few other transits that indicate that by the end of the month, you'll be truly understanding your potential to achieve your goals and that you're on the right path. You may be seeing feedback on something you release that really boosts your self-confidence, right? Something may actually go viral, right? Giving you an understanding that the path is clear and protect it for you to manifest a vision and the fullness of your potential. But discernment is key. Okay, dear Geminis. So I hope that you found this horoscope insight very helpful. Definitely take a look at your 2023 year ahead psychic predictions, right? In the form of the Jupiter and Aries video and also the ancestor advice videos that are linked below. Definitely take a look at the rest of the horoscopes for your sun, moon, and your rising sign. And join me here. Subscribe and join the checkout daily grace meditations that are posted in the shorts tab and also linked in the playlist. Take care of yourselves, Gemini. Hello, dear Cancers. So, so much of the general collective astrology message about attunement amidst rapture and juggling professional responsibilities is for you, right? Given that your career potential and the spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical energy that it demands continues to expand. Neptune and Pisces is in your ninth house, right? And Venus will be traveling through Pisces and Aries in your ninth and tenth houses, while your eleventh house also continues to be blessed, right? And this all emphasizes a desire to continue expanding your networks, your market reach, and connections with industry moguls in ways that support your visionary professional goals related to product development, entertainment, media, tech, writing, publishing, higher learning, spirituality, wellness, and psychology, and growing your finances. And you will see some rewards from these efforts in major ways this month and some major feedback and synchronistic indicators right, of your potential and the path forward. Long-term career visions, your legacy, and this question of how you will continue to monetize all that you know and, and capitalize off of your creativity, expanded networks, your market reach, and partnerships and connections with moguls, mentors, wise spiritual teachers, and teachings. All of this looms for you, right? You may be seeking an accountant to manage growing wealth and investments and hiring new operations managers in your businesses. Mercury, Pluto, and Saturn 
in your seventh and eighth house are asking you to continue your efforts to transform, stabilize, and make practical plans related to understanding, increasing, and protecting your assets, continuing to grow your financial literacy, and renegotiate the terms of your relationships, right? Be it familial, romantic, and business. And for some of you, you may be deepening or even ending romantic commit commitments based on how you and your life have transformed so deeply. And the sun really shines a light on how you are coming to a sort of matriculation point in your long journey in art and entertainment and spiritual initiation, exploration and self-mastery, and even healing from trauma, right? And understanding how it brought you such a wealth of knowledge, right? And this is all while your interest in knowledge about psychology, health, psychic gifts, and the supernatural continues to deepen. And you are meeting wise people with a wealth of knowledge in these topics and wisdom traditions to really enhance your understanding of your own spiritual experiences, cultures, and your wisdom career, and confidence in your role as a teacher with incredible knowledges to share. And these things could peak in the following ways for you this month. So we have the sun in Aquarius in your eighth house, squaring Uranus, right, in your 11th. And then we have Venus in Pisces in your ninth, squaring Mars in Gemini in your 12th, at the end of this sort of first week of February, right? And you're asked to truly prioritize rest, exercise, and physical activity as a key way for you to maintain your mental, emotional, and spiritual fitness for handling the demands of your ever-increasing responsibilities, right? You may also be working out kinks in any research plans and plans to travel. And in general, the message for you is to really balance and avoid burnout, right? And be honest with yourself about any feelings of burnout so that you can move forward. The full moon happens in your second house of finances this month, right? On the 5th. And it's really about you realizing your net worth potential with something. Right. And then on the 10th, Mercury conjuncts Pluto and Capricorn, which is like on your seventh, eighth house cusp. And you may be discovering, communicating and solidifying some things pertaining to uh, partnerships, contracts, finances, business and taxes. Right. And through the rest of the month, um, the second half of the month, we have this Pisces new moon and other transits in your ninth house. And that really indicates that you'll truly be understanding that you're on the right path in your spirituality, in a line of study and higher education. And you may be getting incredible feedback and results, right? And considering opportunities to travel. And in general, it's all about balance for you, Cancers. Many of the Cancers that I see are experiencing this sort of incredible renaissance in their careers, right? And so definitely take good care of yourselves, all right? Definitely look at the rest of the horoscopes posted here related to your sun, moon, and rising. Take a look at all of the 2023 year ahead readings in terms of the Jupiter and Aries and ancestor advice readings that are listed on the page. And like and subscribe to the channel to support the channel and come back here every day for sharing in our daily grace meditations that are posted in the shorts tab. All right, Cancers, thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves. Dear Leos, so the theme for your horoscope is all about power moves, publishing partnerships, and global legacy. So, dear Leos, the spotlight is actually yours this month. <laughs> A full moon and Venus point the spotlight on you, your body and health, your announcements, your creative and commercial projects, and your core committed relationships and partnerships, and your net worth and expanding income potential from your projects. 
So much of the planetary movements are about helping you to tap into and release your visionary ideas and to increase, manage, and protect your assets and really get a sense of how powerful you are and what your legacy can be, including its transnational market reach and impact. I mentioned in your Jupiter and Aries reading that publishing, career travel, such as touring, right, or even manufacturing partnerships and product development would be kicking off for you as well. And Venus will be beginning to bring in the money from these things this month and onward, okay? Powerful people you're learning from and partnering with in arts, entertainment, and beauty are continuing to change your career big time. And you're encouraged to continue strategizing on building momentum with mystery, okay? People have no idea who you know. And when they find out your power moves, it shocks people because of the way you are moving in silence to protect your peace, but also to stay neutral in relationships and out of any gossip and petty competition in your industries. And speaking of mystery, Mercury, Pluto, and Saturn in your sixth house of health, seventh houses of committed partnerships, in addition to the sun, Neptune, and Venus in your eighth house, are really asking you to continue efforts to transform, stabilize, and have important conversations and make practical plans related to troubleshooting health issues for you and ensuring health of people you care for and related to contracts and boundaries in your relationships, right? It's about truly troubleshooting any lingering or long-standing issues, right? And to understand and protect your assets, continue to grow your financial literacy, and be empowered in renegotiating the terms of your relationships, right? Be it familial, romantic, and business. And for some of you, you may be deepening, deepening certain commitments and relationships, and you may be dissolving certain commitments and relationships, right? The health issues or surgery that you or someone in your family, such as a sibling or a maternal figure, faced, they may have improved, but you're encouraged to really keep up with any developments and explore health remedies and maybe second opinions this month. Definitely, definitely check out the Ancestor Advice for 2023 video that I did for you because There is such a powerful message there for you about handling business affairs, especially if you have any sort of uh, suspicions, trust issues, and are sort of struggling with navigating contracts and boundaries and relationships, right? Definitely, definitely check out that video, okay? And in general, take a look at the rest of these horoscopes related to your sun, moon, and rising sign, all of those 2023 year ahead videos. And like and subscribe to support the channel and come back here every day to join in on our daily grace meditations for some heart activation and just some loving encouragement on your spiritual journey. Best of luck this month of February and (laughs) moving forward towards the new year with so much power, confidence, and success. Dear Virgos, the cosmos are supporting the transformation, stabilization, and deepening of your romantic and work relationships, your perspective and practices related to your health, work-life balance and self-care, and personal and spiritual philosophies and belief systems. This month wants you to truly consider how certain new spiritual philosophies practices, belief systems can both inform and shape what you do in your career and bring better boundaries, balance, beauty, and serenity into your personal life and lives of those you care about and care for. You've come to see how your well-being has a direct effect on your professional results and how much better you perform with the loving support of a mentor, love partner, friends, and mental health professionals, time spent with children, hobbies, or even enjoying sex. And if you're single, you've still been on a self-love journey, right? Exploring and expressing your sexuality, um, sexual empowerment, body positivity, 
maybe considering cosmetic surgery or connecting deeply with your life force energy and considering what you want in a committed romantic relationship. And you could find faded love partners, mentors, and business opportunities come into your life now through March. And generally, expressing yourself, your desires, and negotiating your boundaries and even money and contracts continues to be a focus for you this month. And with Mars in your 10th house, it's all about how you communicate these things to get the best results and outcomes, okay? Venus travels through Pisces and Aries in your 7th through 8th houses, right? And, and this is all about offers of marriage, pregnancy and childbirth, relationships with shared assets, negotiating how much you own and share of yourself physically, emotionally, and financially. It's about psychological transformation related to your beliefs and your relationship to the medical industry, having medical operations, or being in the helping professions, right? And Jupiter is also here activating things in this house, so definitely look at your Jupiter and Aries reading in 2023 Spiritual Advice reading to see more. It may be that your sexual preferences are changing or you have a transcendent spiritual awakening experience, right? A romantic weekend or are more open to new sexual desires, right? For famous people, I'm getting that NDAs are being updated for these and other kinds of relationships as you perhaps expand sexual exploration or your circles. For others, I'm getting that negotiations and contracts with partners and investors and commercial ventures are also being updated and reviewed based on the success of efforts to date, right? And in general, it's like you have some exciting career things to continue to explore. And whatever resonates for you, it will just be super important that you're on top of your own health and committed to self-care, right? While you take on a sort of new chapter in your career and your life, right? Caring for others and for yourself, okay? So Virgos, I hope that this was helpful. Definitely take a look at the rest of the horoscopes related to your sun, moon, and rising sign and all of the readings that have been released so far, giving some insight on the year ahead. Like and subscribe to the channel and come back on the daily and take a look at the shorts tab to get just a daily grace meditation that could be really helpful for you in your self-care journey. Take good care. Hello, dear Libra. The sun and the cosmos are continuing to shine a light on you, troubleshooting any issues in committed love, co-parenting, creative and business partners that are in the interest of supportive revision and expansion of your enterprises and what you want your legacy to be, right? And to bring harmony in any workplace dynamics and dynamics in your home life, right? Many of you are trying to carefully consider how these decisions could stabilize or even destabilize your home life and money flow. And many of you are making these decisions related to com commercial ventures that involve fashion, home goods, and lifestyle product development, ventures that include manufacturing, uh, relationships, uh, social causes, higher learning. While your lifestyle this month may be focused on tending to any health issues, right? Transformation of your body and self-image, your self-confidence, and generally you really solidifying your sense of identity, self-worth, net worth, assets, abundance related to your independence, right? And healthier collaboration, right? And collaboration with proper boundaries, right? And all of this is about you setting up a legacy that is separate from toxic codependent relationships and projections and reputations from your path, from your past. <laughs> Definitely take a look at the Ancestor 2023 advice that was channeled for you. It was all about this being a theme for the year and it was titled surgical and executive decisions and so I feel like this could be really really helpful for you right now this month and definitely going forward. 
And many of the things I just mentioned could peak in the following ways this month. So from the 3rd through the 4th, we have the Sun in Aquarius. This is in your fifth house of creative projects, romance, and children. It's making a square to Uranus and Taurus, which is your eighth house of shared assets and negotiating how much you own and share, right? And also about psychological and medical transformations. You could be resolving contracts, child support, tending to surprises with child or pet health, or even um, navigating personal disclosure and new dating relationships, personal disclosure of your information online, and personal disclosure with medical doctors, right? And you will know how this resonates for you. And the fourth or the fifth Venus in Pisces is in your sixth house, right? Of well-being, a work-life balance, and making a square to Mars and Gemini in your ninth house. And so this could point to you supporting social causes or spreading awareness about something controversial. Maybe you are also traveling for work or to see a doctor and trying to find balance. You may even be resolving some disharmony in some sort of workplace dynamic, right? And then the full moon um, illuminates your 11th house, right? Of social groups, networks, social media, online businesses, and it's making a square to Uranus in this eighth house, right? And this could be closing a business, ending a work relationship, or transforming the direction of a venture, right? This could be also switching doctors or health insurance in some way, right? And uh, where any closure, any changes, like really allow you space to move forward, okay? And we also have uh, on the 8th, Venus and Pisces in your 6th house makes this really sweet uh, sextile to Uranus and Taurus in the 8th house. And so this could also speak to medical operations, medical insurance, or healing from past medical issues. And then on the 10th, Mercury conjuncts Pluto and Capricorn. And this is around your 4th or 5th house cusp. And in general, um, from the 10th and through the second half of the month, there's, you know, the lead up to the Pisces new moon, and Venus entering your sixth house and um, traveling through Aries and then transits throughout the remainder of the month that are really just indicating that you'll be solidifying something really important and transformative for your home and romantic life or creative projects related to home and creative art and expression. It could be a big breakup or a hard conversation with a loved one about differences and desires. It could be a convo with a landlord or a contractor. It could be starting a new romantic relationship or reconciling a powerful connection from the past. It could be communication with some sort of powerful person or receiving news related to some exciting business deal or even feedback on something you released, right? That helps to boost your self-confidence. In general, Libras, things are continuing to transform for you and you're just really urged to just take good care of yourself. I hope that this was helpful. Definitely take a look at all of the remaining horoscopes related to your sun, moon, or rising sign. Definitely take a look at that um, 2023 year ahead Jupiter and Aries reading as well as the ancestor advice reading for more and more details that really really are relevant um, to even the astrology showing up this month of February and definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. Dear Scorpios, the theme for your February 2023 horoscope, it's about new love in your life and a new love for life, okay? So tensions are actually reaching their peak with this full moon in Leo this month on the 5th, illuminating your 4th and your 10th houses of home and career. And hopefully it's about bringing some resolve related to family and home life, right? And that it helps to facilitate you really getting grounded in your new normal shaped by closures and new beginnings in career, colleague networks, and even your love life, right? Many of you have been and even still are in a sort of space of limbo and maybe emotional and financial uncertainty a bit regarding 
this in-between space, right, of ending a career and long-standing relationships um, with family dynamics, children, colleagues, and friends, while you are building new relationships and a new venture, right? But spiritually, you are being called to trust the mystery. You are creative and entrepreneurial ideas related to health and wellness, and also to trust red flags of dysfunction or drama in relationships as the divine leading you away from these dynamics toward a healthier and stress-free life in general. I definitely encourage you to really watch the 2023 Ancestor Advice and Jupiter and Aries Year Ahead readings that are linked below, which will give you much more detail and hopefully provide a a little bit of comfort if you are experiencing these particular uh, sorts of uncertainties right now. The astrology definitely points to new work opportunities for you to work with children, to spend more time with pets and nature, and to do something more creative, spiritual, and entrepreneurial. So the advice is have hard conversations, choose peace, and let things leave you. And put yourself out there to really create and take advantage of opportunities that are truly divinely inspired. Okay, Scorpios, definitely take a look at the remaining horoscopes related to your sun, moon, and rising sign. Check out the rest of the videos linked on the page. Like this video to support the channel and subscribe. Come back for more information related to the full and new moons that are happening this month and to stay up to date with some daily spiritual encouragement in the form of the daily grace meditations that are posted on the shorts tab. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and take good care. If you haven't made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are someone with Sagittarius and Capricorn placements, your horoscopes and spiritual advice and insights for this month are linked in the description box and they are the ancestor advice videos that were posted here after looking at the astrology these videos definitely were the channeled messages for you for this month so definitely check them out and i hope that they are helpful in general thank you so much for watching this video like this video and subscribe to the channel. Check out the rest of the content and look out for more content coming your way. Take incredible care this month. Bask in the sweet healing energy and any opportunities for growth.